Welcome to Gray on Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a quadrilateral ABCD, uh, which is uh, this quadrilateral has a perpendicular uh, pair of segments AB and AD. Uh, and from point B, a segment is drawn to point E at segment AD. And this uh, segment uh, BE is perpendicular to BC and the lengths of the segments are shown for AB 8 units AE is 6 and uh, ED is 2 and we are required to find the area of the blue region which is BCDE okay so there are actually several ways on solving this problem but uh, one solution could be we can actually draw a horizontal line from uh, seg uh, point B and downwards perpendicularly to point C. And okay, so perpendicular, this is perpendicular. And we form a, a rectangle, larger rectangle. So let's label this as point uh, F. So we uh, form a quadrilateral AFCD and to find this area, so we can actually get the total area and subtract the area of these two white regions, the area of the rectangle AFCD and subtract these two white regions, these two right triangles. Okay, so next is we concentrate on the angles. So let us say that this is angle alpha and this since and if we draw a vertical line this so this should be angle beta a complement and this uh, since this is 90 at angle b so this should be a complement so alpha and this should be a complement again if, with respect to this so this is actually uh, beta okay so if we focus on the uh, triangle ABE since this is 90 one angle is alpha and this angle should be beta and the complement and Next is we focus on the triangle on the uh, white region on the right, so BFC. So if one angle is beta, then this is alpha complement because this is already 90 at angle F. Okay, okay so since uh, we have formed a rectangle uh, by drawing uh, the two blue segments uh, BF and this BF and FC so this uh, segment FC should be uh, 6 plus 2 and this should be 8 units okay so next is we uh, since we have uh, two pairs of angles in this uh, two white triangles so in a an aside uh, for as you can see aside on this uh, beside alpha adjacent side alpha is 8 for both triangles for a b this a b and this f c so by angle angle side or aes congruency rule states that if two triangles have equal angles so in our case we have this uh, angle beta and alpha and a side adjacent to only one of the angles are equal and in our case again uh, the side adjacent to angle alpha is eight units and for triangle vfc eight units also and with this we can actually say that the uh, 
two triangles are congruent and if these two triangles are congruent then uh, this length bf opposite angle alpha should be 6 okay so for the final step is since we have said earlier that we should get the area of the resulting rectangle and subtract the areas of the two white regions and therefore we have uh, for the area of uh, area of the blue let's call that as area b is equal to area of a f c d c d minus area of uh, this a b e and subtract again area of bfc and area of the blue is equal to area of afcd which is uh, 8 times 8 plus 6 for af let's say af times ad minus 1 half times uh, ab times AE minus one half times BF times BC and A area of the blue equal to AF has actually is measures 14 because it is 8 plus 6 and AD measures 8 minus one half times AB which has a length of 8 and AE is 6 minus 1 half times BF is 6 and BC is 8. Okay, so we simplify things and we say that this 14 times it is actually 112 minus we can actually factor this one half times uh, 8 times 6 plus 8 times 6 so we have this 4896 this is 48 6 times 8 times 2 is 96 so divided by 2 this is equal to 48 so area of w is equal to 112 minus 48 and which gives us 64 square units this is for our first method okay so for our second method is that uh, we can actually divide this uh, blue region in several parts so we can actually drop a line from b downwards to cd and that this line should be our segment should be perpendicular to this cd and uh, let's call this as um, f point f and from point E, we can actually uh, draw a horizontal line. And this should be also perpendicular to uh, BF. So we, have, we can call this uh, segment, I mean point as G, the intersection. Okay, so next is we focus on the angles. So... If we focus on the white right triangle on point B, if we say that this angle is alpha, then this angle should be a complement because it is from a uh, right triangle. So this we can call this beta. And uh, this is actually a right triangle. And if we focus on this uh, uh, B C F. Okay, so since at angle B, this is 90 degrees and this 90. So 
this should be a complement this angle so this should be beta and inside the triangle bfc since angle b is 90 then this should be alpha and since uh, bfc is a right triangle this is a right triangle and this angle should be a complement of alpha should be beta and notice that uh, AD is congruent to BF, so this is actually a units. Okay, so next is uh, we need to focus on the parts of the triangle, the two parts of the uh, triangle ABE and uh, BFC. So we concentrate on these two angles, this 90 degree angle, and this alpha and this eight units at eight unit length so for triangle abe uh, we can actually also find the the identical parts on triangle bfc so alpha and the 90 degree angle and eight unit the eight unit length at bf okay so if we have these parts uh, to be congruent then by uh, asa congruence these two triangles are actually congruent because we have two uh, it states that if two angles two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles of a second triangle and also if the included side are congruent so in our case alpha and the 90 degree are congruent and in and in between them are I mean a congruent length, so AB and BF for the two triangles respectively. So these two triangles are actually congruent. Okay, so we did prove them, prove them to be congruent for a reason because uh, if they are actually congruent, then this length should be a uh, six units because we have here the uh, one leg is eight for uh triangle abe and the other leg is six so in triangle bfc if one leg is eight then this should be six okay so uh, let us label this point as g this point of intersection and now for the final step we can actually find the area so for the area of the blue it is equal to area of triangle BEG this right triangle area of BEG and you add this area of uh, BFC and you add this area of this rectangular piece so EGD, EGFD, so area of EGFD and area of the blue for uh, BEG. So uh, this uh, has a length of for BG, this is 6 because it is uh, parallel and congruent to AE, so this is 6. So one half times the base, which is eight. This is actually eight. Okay, so eight and six plus area of BFC one half times uh, BF and FC. So we have eight and six again. Then we need to add the area of. Uh, EGFD and that is for the length is 8 and for the width is this length so this is 2 so area of W is equal to we can cancel this 4 so 24 plus same thing with the second triangle we can cancel this so 4 times 6 is 24 plus 16 8 times 2 and if we add this 
this will result again to uh, area of the blue to be 64 square units same answer that we got earlier for our first method so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be updated for more math videos like this and also if you have any other solutions for this problem you can actually write them in the comment section so thank you for watching again bye